What up Hordewalkers and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to install mods for 7 Days to Die PC so that you can go out there and play with all the fun little toys that some wonderful creators have made for the game. Are you new to modlets for 7 Days to Die? As someone who was a few months ago, I didn't really know where to start. Luckily I had a great community behind me who showed me how, and I want to pass that knowledge on to you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the modlets and install them onto your PC. So you're probably asking yourself, what is a modlet? According to the 7 Days to Die Mod Launcher website, modlets are self-contained mods that add tweaks or features so that you can customize your gameplay experience. I did a review on a hot air balloon and the working boat mod which are both modlets. One adds two little boats that you can use to cross the water while the other one adds small tweaks so that you can craft a hot air balloon and travel around the world. Okay, let's begin. Go to your Steam page and go up to 7 Days to Die. You want to right click that and go to Manage. Then you want to click on Browse Local Files. A page like this will come up. This is the local files for your 7 Days to Die game installed on your PC. What you want to do here is create two new folders. You can do it from the top where you go up to um, new folder, click create, or you can also right click, go down to new, and go over to folder. The first folder you're going to create is called mods, M-O-D-S. This is where you will be installing all the modlets you will use to customize your gameplay experience. It has to be named MODS, otherwise the game will not read the configuration files you will install there. The second one you can rename Mods Backup or Mods 1 or whatever you want to all as long as you know where it's at. Then you will type in, then you can do a Google search and type in 7 Days to Die Mods and go up to uh, 7 Days to Die Mods. This is the website that I use. I will post that link in the description down below. And um, they have uh, a ton of different mods or modlets that you can use. They also have some all-in-one mods like all the Warzuck mods. Um, you may have seen some of these from the uh, Mod Launcher website or the Mod Launcher itself, um, but this website does contain some of those. Um, they have weapon mods, storage container mods, they have vehicle mods. Um, they have There are tons of different things that you can use uh, and to customize your own gameplay experience and you can try new things like the wasteland weapons is pretty good um, it adds different things uh, changes the way the, the wasteland the weapons look um, but so make sure when you're on this page whatever mod that you choose you read the description of the mods because what you want to do essentially is make sure that you get all parts installed for the mod. So the one that I chose here is Golf Cart and Golf Club Melee. You're going to go read the description and then you can go over to download. Click download. And then something like this will come up. Then you can go over to your downloads folder and click save. This is your modlet. Then you're going to close it down and go into your download folder and you're going to extract or open the modlet. This will be your configuration file. So what you will do is you're going to cut the folder And then you're going to go over to your 
local files for your seven days to die and you're going to paste that into your folder called mods m-o-d-s once it's in there this is your modlet loaded into the game so seven days to die will read that folder and read these configurations and then customize that gameplay experience for you any modlets that you do not want to use or may overlap with other modlets, you want to put this into your modlets backup folder. Uh, some weather mods use the same config files, so if they overlap, you will have issues. This is how you install mods in a simple and easy way. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and if you really like it make sure you hit that button and i'd also like for you to hit the subscribe button over there if you are interested in more seven days to die content i do provide mod review videos for alpha 18 and i will soon be reviewing uh, mods for alpha 19. i stream every other weekend on twitch i'm going to post the link here down below our community loves to chat about Seven Days to Die, and we're super excited for Alpha 19, so hope to see you there. Thank you again for watching this video, and Horde Walkers, keep fighting the good fight out there. That was fucking cool. That was fucking cool. <laughs>